What is going on everybody, Vlad here, and if you're new to the channel, here I talk about all things money, business, and real estate, and today we're gonna talk about how to get started in real estate in your early 20s, and how I actually got started myself. So full disclosure, before we get started, this is meant for true beginners, somebody that doesn't have a lot of money, but they have a lot of time, they're ready to hustle and get into real estate, if you have more money, there's obviously more avenues for you, there's more opportunity. But I'm going off of my own experience. Whenever I started out, I had absolutely no money. I was working a part-time job and not making too much money at all. So for me, starting in real estate was really about hustling and actually making things happen You know, with my own effort instead of being able to leverage money for opportunity. So when you're first getting started in real estate, you really have to look at yourself in the mirror, think about what you're good at and what you actually want to do. Because when it comes to starting in real estate, I get recommend two different ways. And they couldn't be more different. They're completely opposite and require completely different things, but you know, you kind of have to base your personality off of which one you would enjoy more. On one hand, we have the traditional side. This is the listing, buying, selling, kind of the regular real estate that we're used to. Million dollar listing, you know, stuff like that. Selling mansions, selling starter homes. You're the agent, you're representing your clients, and you know, you're making the transaction go smoothly for them. On the other hand, we have the investment side. Here, you're not representing anybody. You are for yourself, you are a business owner. Specifically, I am talking about wholesaling real estate when I'm talking about the investment side starting out. And when you're wholesaling real estate, what you're doing is basically finding distressed properties that need work, that can have a profit made off of them by an investor. So for you, you're not representing, you're coming in, hustling, looking for a deal, and if that deal makes, you know, makes sense and it actually pencils out, then that's a deal that you can do. And those are completely different, you know, completely different ways of looking at real estate, but I definitely recommend starting out with either one of those two. So let's dive deeper. When you're going the traditional side, you're gonna have to become a real estate agent. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to take your real estate courses, you'll have to pass the real estate exam, and then you'll have to hang your license with the broker that allows you to practice real estate in the state of your choosing. It could be you know, the state you reside in or a different state, but I definitely recommend starting out in your state. And uh, once, you know, once you hang your license at that point, you know, you're fully licensed to practice real estate and you can start representing clients as, you know, both the buyer's agent and the listing agent. When you're going the traditional side, you're going to have to have some money to start out. First of all, you need to take your courses. So for me, I was able to take my courses online here in Nevada and uh, they cost about $100 for me. And once I was done with those, um, I actually was ready for the test. So, and the test is $200 and then it's $100 every time you need to retake it after that. So if you fail the first time, you have to retake it, you have to pay obviously. And then at that point, once you pass, you know, you're ready to get licensed, you go, you know, you get licensed with your real estate division. and you hang your license at your brokerage. Most likely, you'll have to join the National Association of Realtors, which will give you access to the multiple listing service, and which is basically the kind of comprehensive database of properties that are listed on the market in your particular state. There's offices that don't use the MLS, but honestly, you know, I would stay away from those simply because the MLS is just so vital for the real estate business. On the investment side, there's wholesaling. And like I said, wholesaling is finding distressed properties that need a lot of work or, you know, the owners in a situation that they need a cash offer fast. And at that point, what you do is you contract the property and you find a cash buyer, link them together and, you know, you make your assignment fee. Starting out wholesaling, you don't need any money at all, really, for the most part. What you do need is a lot of hustle. If you don't have money, you need to hustle you need to put in a lot of effort. So what I would do if I was, you know, starting out brand new again, would be something low cost in order to generate leads and, you know, learn sales and negotiation and learn your market, learn what properties are selling for, learn what a good deal is and 
That's really all you need. You don't need any money to start out. You just need effort. As you can see, these two directions are completely different. On one hand, you have to be a hustler. You have to be an entrepreneur. You have to go out and you have to source good deals that are both a win for the seller, win for you, and win for the buyer. And then on the traditional side, you have to be very customer service oriented. You have to really represent your clients well. You have to have their best interest in mind. And when you do so, you know, you're going to make a lot of money because a lot of people are going to want to work with you. I have both perspectives on this matter because quite frankly, I've done both. I'm both a real estate agent, fully licensed here in Nevada, and we also do wholesaling through my company that I founded. So I have both sides of the spectrum and I've seen both sides. I started off on both sides. So I really know that, you know, they're two separate things. They require two different kind of mentalities, but both of them are not easy. That's right. A lot of people, they ask, what's easier? What's the easy way to do something? And the answer is there is no easy way. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And it's not on the wholesaling side. You have to get those deals. They're hard to source. The people are sometimes hard to work with because there's a ton of investors that are, you know, looking for these deals. And then on the residential side, you know, there's a ton of agents out there. You have to set yourself apart. And the only way you set yourself apart from every other agent in your city and in your market is if you work hard and you have a competitive edge. That's, that's what it takes. That's what it takes to succeed on both sides. Neither of them are easy, but those are the best two ways to get into real estate starting out in your early 20s. The reason that I love these two ways starting out, you know, in real estate, especially in your early 20s is because it can catapult you into different ventures. I know a ton of real estate agents that, you know, have started as a real estate agent, then, you know, flipped houses, then they uh, bought rentals, then they did commercial stuff. You know, there's a ton of different things you could do. Same thing on the wholesaling side. Most wholesalers start off wholesaling, then they get into flipping, buying rentals and all sorts of stuff. There's a lot of opportunity in real estate and these two are just kind of the gateway and the, you know, the most straightforward way to get into real estate and really get your feet wet and really know the business from the back end. If you got value out of that and that was a little bit helpful, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. We're going to be releasing a lot more videos related to real estate, how to get started, different techniques to use starting out and all sorts of stuff. I was a beginner just a little bit over a year ago and you know, now we're doing a lot of deals. Um, you know, we're more focused. We're actually buying a flip coming up here soon. So super excited about that. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, make sure you guys comment. I'd love to interact with you guys, see if I can give you any pointers and uh, feel free to DM me on any of my social media handles down below. And I could definitely give you some pointers, um, you know, as to what I think would be the best route for you or whatever. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I enjoy making these videos a lot. Peace.